IBM 5100. The IBM 5100 was one of the first portable personal computers to be released in 1975. It resembled a printer and weighed about 24 kilograms, it had a 5-inch display screen, 64K RAM, and was powered by a 1.9 MHz processor. Although it was not lightweight, it was more portable than computers. The IBM 5100 established a solid foundation for the evolution of portable computers. Osborne 1 The laptop model that could be closed and carried on trips like a suitcase was introduced in the 1980s. In fact, it was the first portable laptop computer to sell for $1,800. The machine was unique in that it was the first to include two floppy drives, as well as a 4 MHz processor and 64 KB RAM. It weighed 25 pounds and had a 5-inch display screen. Grid Compass Grid Compass Laptop Computer, 1982-1990, manufactured by Grid Systems Corporation in Fremont, California, USA. Bill Mogridge designed the Grid Compass laptop computer, which is both stylish and expensive. Grid Systems patented the folding clamshell design, which later became popular in laptop design. When the Grid Compass was first released in 1982, it cost at least $8,000. It was designed to be portable and rugged, and despite being marketed initially to executives who could afford its high price, it was eventually used by the military. Notably, a grid compass was used on NASA's STS-51G space mission in 1985. NEC Ultralight Japan's NEC introduced the first truly portable laptop computer in 1988. It was small enough to fit in people's bags and weighed only 2 kilograms, which was quite impressive for the 1980s. It was powered by NEC's own V30 processor, which ran at 9.5 MHz and supported 64K of RAM and up to 2 MB of storage. The starting price for this ultralight was around $4,000. It could easily pass for a laptop from the 2000s if the design was slimmer. Apple, Macintosh Portable and Apple PowerBook Apple released its first portable personal computer in 1989, with a 9.8-inch 640,400 black and white display screen and 40 megabytes of storage capacity. It was regarded as Apple's worst product ever because the storage could only save a dozen photos at most. It was also regarded as ugly due to its white outer covering and weight of approximately 7.2 kilograms. Following the failure of its first model, Apple revised its ideas and released the PowerBook in 1991. The look and feel of the laptop model they created drew a double-take from the industry. It was small in dark grey cases, and the alignment of the screen, keypad, and pointer was impressive, as it resembled modern designs. IBM ThinkPad 700C IBM released the ThinkPad 700C in 1992, which was regarded as a significant step forward in computer technology. The laptop had a 10.4-inch colored LCD display with 640x480 resolution and folded completely in half, with the screen on one side and the keypad on the other. It was powered by a 25 MHz Intel 486 SLC processor, had 4 MB of RAM, and a 120 MB hard drive. Furthermore, the model was well known for having a trackpoint that assisted with mouse movement on the screen. The ThinkPad 700C battery, according to IBM, can run for 4 hours on a single charge. Dell Dell dominated the computer market in the early 2000s. It was so popular that someone had to own a Dell computer. By this point in time, the laptop design had thinned and become lighter as it progressed to the point where the display screen widened towards the device's edges. It also came with a gleaming silver cover, which was an added bonus for the sale. Lenovo Yoga Series 
In 2012, Lenovo introduced the Yoga 13 model. It was the first modern hybrid laptop with the touch interface of Windows 8. The Yoga was a reference to the various positions it could stand in, its famous features included the standard mode, tablet mode, laptop mode, and tent mode. The Yoga Book, which digitized the keyboard and allowed the user to draw as well as type and write in the same area, was released in 2016. E-Ink was added as an extra feature in the 2018 version, allowing for more drawing surfaces and custom entry layouts depending on the applications. It was extremely beneficial to readers because it allowed for longer battery life. Future of Laptops It's safe to say that laptops have evolved dramatically over the last 30 years. From a 10 MHz CPU, 640 KB of memory, a 40 MB hard disk drive, and a 640x400 pixel display running MS-DOS to 4K panels, 5 GHz chips, so many gigabytes of RAM, and a massive NVMe SSD, the rate of innovation in this category has been astounding. But what about the following 30 years? What will the laptop look like in the year 2052? The next generation of laptops will be available by the holiday season of this year. Perceptual computing is a core initiative for Intel, as announced earlier this year at CES and recently at Computex and a big part of it is bringing 3D imaging to the PC. What does this imply? In the same way that accelerometers, gyroscopes, and GPS in a smartphone allow the phone to be aware of its position and orientation, 3D cameras will allow the PC to perceive more about the user, the user's orientation, and the surrounding environment. Furthermore, it will enable immersive video conferencing, powerful facial recognition, gesture control and navigation, emotion recognition, and 3D scanning for 3D printing as well as import into video games and virtual environments. The perceptual capabilities provided by 3D cameras will open up a plethora of new and exciting possibilities. One of the more intriguing examples is that 3D cameras will allow the PC to scan many points on faces, hands, and fingers in real time, making them a natural part of how we interact with our computers. Something similar has already been seen on the Xbox console with Kinect. The laptop of the future will take this a step further, with fine-grained finger controls for quickly navigating windows, tabs, and content, as well as controlling the UI within apps. Aquify is an example of a company that is breaking new ground in the space. This was the evolution of the laptops. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.